Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And about a year and some change ago, I did a demo of this pedal right here, the Electronic Audio Experiments Halberd Overdrive. If you would have asked me if there was any way to improve it, I would have said, no, it's perfect. But apparently, we can improve on it. Because tonight, we are going to be looking at the Halberd V2. So what are the differences between the original Halberd and the Halberd V2? Well, first off, it's smaller, so that's cool. The NOS germanium transistor that was used in here is not used in here, but it has been tuned so that you won't even notice. Current draw on this one was reduced to 50 milliamps from 180 milliamps. It added a really cool voice toggle, which I'm excited to show you. And the low control from here is now called depth, and the high control from here is now called tone. So let's throw it down here on a mix on multiple guitar tracks, and then come on back here, and we will run through the Halberd V2 all by its lonesome. Let's take a deeper dive into the Halberd V2 from Electronic Audio Experiments. But first, I am running a Grez Guitars Mendocino. Got righteous sound pickups in here, some humbuckers. Very, very cool guitar, I like it a lot. And I am running into a 1967 Fender Bassman. Sounds like this. Let's take a look at these controls here. Up top, on the right, we have a pre, and the pre is the overall input gain, so you can kind of think of this as your distortion, if you will. Next to that is the post, and the post is the overall output volume of the pedal, and there is a lot, just a staggering amount of output volume on this pedal. 
Then we have a tone control. That's an adjustable high shelf. And then we have a depth control, and that is an adjustable low shelf. On the previous version, this was called high and low, and now it's tone and depth. Then new to this, we have a three-way toggle in the middle that says voice. And it uh, just dramatically alters the character of the overdriven signal. And if you're going all the way down with it, that is deep, and it is indeed deep. If you go in the middle, that is the standard. That's the version that was in the V1. And then if you go up, it is clang, which is a brighter kind of sound. So let's put it on standard. Let's turn everything to about noon and let's turn some knobs. Remember when I said that this thing has just a punishing amount of volume on tap? Let's uh, let's do that right now before we get too far into this. Let's crank that up, and we're just going to beat the crap out of the front end of this vintage Fender basement. <laughs> to a pretty good start there, right? Yeah, it sounded really stinking good. So I am going to pull back the volume a little bit, but I'm going to leave everything else pretty much exactly where it was. 
And we'll hit this voice toggle. The first thing we'll do is we'll go up, which is the clang. So it should be a quite a bit brighter. <laughs> substantial that was a substantial characteristic change in the sound it got really really nice and bright and if you hear the contrast between standard i moved up to the neck pickup on here and wow what a huge difference let's do the same thing i'll go down to the bridge pickup and we will go to the dark side <laughs> toggle it's no joke those are that is that is not a subtle change in those sounds out of the three and i didn't expect this i liked the dark setting the most i i expected it to be muddy and not really fun to listen to but it's not muddy it's just fuller and darker so you can get dark without being muddy that's cool Anyway, this is just a brief overview of the Halberd V2. I didn't think they could improve on the Halberd V1, but here it is, right there. So thank you to Electronic Audio Experiments for sending this over for me to check out, and thank you for your time. Uh -huh.